welcome back, guys, to another Tales of Eternia. This is UT Young for this. Last time we got here to the safer sanctuary or temple or ruins or whatever, and we talked to this angel dude, and we're about ready to go into do a tri trial of safer. Let's go and see what's going on. Hmm, egg bear. What's going on? Is this me? A monster? Apparently, and we can also get into battles. There's really no point into fighting these battles. Let's go ahead and run. Because even though we do get experience, and they're actually fairly easy, there's really no point in doing them because they don't add to our uh, total, exper total experience. Even if it does, they... Uh, yeah, it's a very pitiful experience to get like 30 experience per battle or whatever. Not very fun. Anyway, finally the boss appears, but I won't lose to the likes of an egg bear. Apparently I'm the boss. Anyway, stop! I'm a human! Apparently that's what the egg bear thinks. Why Why are we in control of an egg bear? Maybe Reed's having a, a dream. A nightmare, maybe. I don't know, would it be a nightmare if, if you were dreaming of that you were a bear and start killing people randomly? Uh, have I killed a human? <laughs> Help, let me go! Ah, our eggs! This place is dangerous? Yeah, if you actually remember from the beginning of the game... Yeah, this is the Cave of Nostos. We came through here to actually go and get through to try and find a way to communicate with Merity at this point in time. Live! I will live! Rawr! Leave this to me, says Reed. So yeah, we get to reenact the battle that we had before with this egg bear, except this time is against, uh, we're the egg bear. Egg bear, and we're fighting Herschel and Zybel. It's actually Reed Herschel and Kiel Zybel. So, why they actually have the names, uh, last names on there, I have no idea. But anyway, we lose pretty darn easily because, well, we're an egg bear and we can't move very fast. Anyway, I want to live. And then it just basically replays the same uh, scene over again from. That part long ago brings back very old memories, doesn't it, guys? What, this was like three months ago? Or three, four months ago? I don't know. Anyway, if you want to go back and watch this scene, it just basically plays out like it does earlier. It's just Reed getting a viewpoint from the egg bear. What it actually looked like to the egg bear. And why the egg bear was so angry. I'm... This is... What? You, you're the messenger of Seyford. You have returned alive. Wait a minute. Was that the trial? The whirling thoughts now within your heart must not be forgotten. They are that which you are not aware of or have avoided. I'm a hunter. I had to do that to live. It is all right. No one can blame you for what you have done. Facing the truth in time. Those will be your trials. I understand. I won't seek false justification. I'll accept fact as fact. It is well. You have overcome Seyfert's first trial. Receive the Aurora Wall. Aurora Wall? An Aurora Art, which protects by forming a quasi-space barrier. Oh... That was the skill Ras protected us with. Now, seek the path to your next trial. There are more trials? Will I become a monster again? The trials are not predetermined. It simply opens a passage to the conflict within your own heart. And explode into feathers once again. Sweetness. Anyway, so we get to learn the Aurora Wall. I don't know if we've mastered it, game, but we've learned the ability. Anyway, we have to press all three of those buttons, uh, square, circle, and X, in the battle when 
his HP is flashing, whatever that means. I don't know. It's a sacred skill that nullifies actions of everyone, including any uses of cranial arts. So, remember, remember that big, huge attack that Chazelle used on me? Yeah, that's the only place where you want to use it, basically. It'll drain your HP and do that, but it will stop the attack from happening. So, we don't actually, the whole group doesn't actually lose HP. So it's a nice uh, move to know, but we won't be using it for a while. Anyway, Reed, what's the matter? Are you alright? Sorry, I'm still kind of dazed. Did you complete the trial? I completed the first trial. There's still more. Really? Don't worry, I'm not going to give up. Reed. It, I was given the Aurora Wall by Seyfert's messenger. It's a skill that Raz used to save us. I see. Yay, Reed, let's hurry back to the Van Elsha. And we're automatically on the Van Elsha. Don't ask me why. Where is the next trial? This will tell us. The Seyfert Key. Hold it high in the air, Reed. And where will it point? Nobody knows. Yeah, apparently it's straight up in the air. How is that possible? Do, do, do we have to go find a way to fly? Yeah, so the next test is going to be in Inferia? How do we get there? We'll search. If the safer key is pointing to Inferia, there's got to be a way to get back. Mary, do you agree? There might be something like Kramelcraft somewhere. I doubt it. It'd be easy, quicker to, act, to ask Galanos to make one. Gallo says it takes years and years. No problem. If we look, I'm sure we'll find something that will take us back to Inferia. Uh, what are you doing, chat? Quit, qu quit, qu tongue twister. Quit kicking quickie. There we go. Said it. Try saying that five times fast. Quit kicking quickie. In, all right. Anyway, Inferia. I'm afraid that's not possible. Van Elsha is only a ship. Of course it can't. I want to gather clues about how to return to Inferia. Take us ashore to the nearest town. We find something like the Bridge of Light. A bridge? Yeah, I have an idea. Let's go and search for Eifried's legacy. What you want to search for piratey treasure now, chat? Why? Uh. You do want to go into Inferia, right? Yeah. You do know who my great grandfather is, don't you? Uh, Eifried, right? The great pirate who struck fear into sailors all over the world? That's right, and all over the world means all of Eternia, if you actually interpret it loosely, but whatever. Are you suggesting that one of Eifried's legacies may be a tool for us to get to Inferia? Are you sure? First of all, let's go back to my mansion and leave it to me. I don't think that a hut can be considered a mansion, chat. But whatever, chat joins the party for like two seconds while we actually go and back and find chat's hut. So let's go ahead and go back. Gonna go on a piratey adventure of treasure seeking goodness. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Are ye mateys and shiver me timbers and all that sort of fun stuff. Anyway, before I start making any more pirates references, let us go off because I'm saving all those pirates references for the uh, Lego Pirates Let's Play with McCallus. So, anyway, there it is. There's the hut all the way over there. I knew you were here. I just had to go all the way around the freaking continent in order to find you. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't get back into the Van Elsha. I love the music. Don't get me wrong. I love the music, but uh, not right now. And why the crap do I have to fight you? Probably be easier to actually sit here and kill these guys than it is to run. Unless they don't want to die from my attacks. That's... Oh, hello, Thunderblade of Doom. Yes, Thunderblaze actually does a lot of damage, but it has a very short range. The 
wielder of it he has to be in a really close proximity and it has a quite a long charge time so yeah it kind of leaves the user in a precarious spot I created this trick mechanism whoa it's a statue that fell out of the tree this monument has been here since ancient times have a look uh, Meredy, could you? Apparently it's written all over in Melnick, so... Anyway, numbers 204, mark 98. And then it says, a whole bunch of gibberish that we don't understand. What the crap are you saying, Meredy? Solve the riddle of the numbers, and the bridge of expedition shall appear. A bridge? Bridge of light? When you spoke of the bridge of light, the unsolved riddle of this monument came to mind. Now we just have to figure out what the numbers mean, right? That's easy to guess. Huh? But I've been puzzling over them for over five years. That's only because you lack the proper knowledge. Oh, Keel, you're going and insulting chat now. <laughs> That's exactly why I don't like Keel. He goes around insulting everybody all the freaking time. Anyway, do you mean GPS, which measures your current lati latitude and longitude? Did I freeze use this too? It's one of the seven indispensable tools for a pirate. Receive GPS. I wonder what the other six are. Maybe it's a ship in a pirate's hat. Or two of them. I don't know. These things are worthless unless you actually use them. Uh, it's showing two numbers. Probably latitude and longitude. I bet we'll find something if we go to the place where the indicated numbers are. 204 Mark 98. Those five years I spent... Eh, don't let it get you down, chat. He can't do much, but he sure can think. And that's probably why he is really, really... I don't know. Keel is really aggravating sometimes. <laughs> at, at this point in the game, I, I just kind of sit there and just... Just kind of shake my head and say, Keel, what in the hell are you... Uh, what what the hell are you thinking? You know, because... I mean, at the beginning of the game, I can understand, because he didn't know a, a lot about Merity and a lot about Celestians. But now that he's actually come to find out and touch the Celestian soil and talk to a few Celestians, he just decides to go all out and just say, No, I don't care anymore. You're... You're a Celestian, I'm a racist bastard, so therefore I... you die. Anyway, the GPS signal, or GPS coordinates, basically point over here. Um, actually, I don't want to do that. I just wanted to stop, because if I go any further, it'll trigger a scene. And, uh, talk a little bit about the GPS right there on the right-hand side of the screen. Well, basically, you guys can figure it out. It just has numbers. We have to find a 204 by uh, 204 mark, ni mark 98. There we go, 204 mark 98. Woohoo! And we get a little nice little cave that we can go in. I freeze cavern. There really was a hideout. Merdy thought I freed was just a legend. Legends don't have great granddaughters. There's a there's a slight breeze. Let's check inside. We shall check inside next time. But first, we grab ourselves a flame sword, which I won't equip because Excalibur has better stats and it has a better elemental ability on it. Anyway, this is you too young for this signing out, saying keep things frosty.